What will be your agenda as it pertains to small business? What will we see Linda McMahon do to help out sm small business owners in this country? Well, joining the uh, SBA, you know, only about 60 days ago, I've really been jumping in and kind of drinking from a fire hose a little bit. But I do believe that my experience as a CEO from growing a small business to taking that company public and then having it become a global brand gives me specific insights into helping small business owners, those who are trying to start a business, those who are trying to grow and scale their businesses, those who are trying to create product for export. So I'm very excited about what we can do at SBA to continue to um, start businesses. You know, we've had a decline uh, in business startups over the last few years, and I'm, I'm starting to see a little bit of change in that direction, so we want to be able to support those entrepreneurs with their access to capital, with counseling, okay. and with helping them get you know, more government contracts. So at SBA, that's clearly our focus, and to help them uh, through um, rebuilding their businesses and their homes if they've suffered you know, through a disaster in a particular area, because that also falls under SBA. Is there direct experience from WWE, Linda, that you bring to bear on working in the SBA? Or, you know, I mean, I, I'm not saying you're going to have, you know, storylines and personalities coming out. You know, this isn't wrestling in the ring, but uh, I'm just interested in what it's like transitioning from that experience into this one. Well, I think it's really the background that I had at WWE when my husband Vince McMahon and I were starting. World Wrestling Entertainment, and we experienced how difficult it was to get access to capital. And when you don't have bricks and mortar to get loans against, and you're really dependent on cash flow and cash management, that is the situation of a lot of startups today. So having that kind of understanding and been through that, but growing a company that then did become a global brand really gives you, I think, particular expertise in management. Uh, in how to then guide and navigate through the capital access landscape. Taking the company public was a very different thing, but I think there yeah. are small businesses today that really strive, you know, to go through some of those steps, and we'd like to help them, I'd like to help them live the American dream, which I was so fortunate to be able to do. Mm. Regarding the access to capital, I'm curious your thoughts on this. You know, the most recent small business optimism index showed that very few small businesses were having trouble actually getting access to loans. About 4% of the owners reported that their borrowing needs were not satisfied. A much larger number said that they either were, their, their capital needs were met or they just didn't want to borrow money at this time. So does small, the, small, the average small business in this country have a, a loan problem or not? Well, what we're seeing is more and more lenders that are coming in to the SBA program. And SBA, of course, as you know, does not grant loans, but we guarantee loans from banks. And so that really has given impetus uh, you know, to lenders to loan to small business. And I do think that it is a change in the attitude of the country. There is clearly more optimism for small businesses to start up their businesses. And so they are uh, looking for more capital. Some of them are looking capital to grow. Uh, one of the 504 programs for SBA really is plant property and equipment lending. And so we're yeah. seeing more of that as well. So it's, uh, it's a good message, a good time, but we need to continue with our counseling and our networking for our businesses, especially in our women's business programs. One of the issues that does come up in the surveys is the broad uh, problem of deregulation or problem of regulation and hope for deregulation so it you're in a curious spot at the SBA because you represent the federal government's involvement in the private sector how can you work to you know address that concern well I think it's really important as we hear from more and more of our small businesses to make our legislators aware of the regulatory environment not that they're not aware but that they're hearing more you know, a small business owner is apt to not only be the CEO, but the janitor and the bookkeeper and every other thing. And when you get really reams of paper regulations that you have to comply with, and you don't have time or the expertise to do it, and you don't have the money to hire someone. So the regulatory environment really can be stifling to small businesses that are trying to start up. And all they're saying is regulate the things that really need to be regulated but let's stop mm -hmm. with the volumes of regulations that we have to comply with. Have you identified yet any regulations that kind of stand out as something that you'd like to see Congress get rid of? 
Uh, no, because we are now having feedback from our small businesses to actually identify what those regulations are. And we are clearly listening to what they have to say. I think they're very happy that the lending environment is loosening, that's for sure. Uh, and the regulatory environment, they are very hopeful, is going to be lessened on them. The thing I hear about the most is paperwork. The volume of paperwork, regardless of what the regulation is, it is just the volumes and the, burdening, uh, the burden of having to comply with so much at a time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.